Hey everyone, how was your week? Did you have a good week? Let me know something down in the comments that you did that was really fun or made you really happy. Also, let me know what you drew last. I haven't asked you guys in a while. I would love to know. So this piece was actually already shown to some of you guys. I now have Twitch and that's where you do live streams and everything and so for those of you who like to watch real-time videos and ask questions and interact at the same time, this is a great place to go. You can chat on the side of the video and I'll answer your questions and stuff as I draw. So I'm going to start doing that now and I'll leave my information in the upper left-hand corner for the remainder of this video. Anyway, I've been kind of MIA for a while because I was sick, but I'm better now and life is good, so we're here today drawing a fall themed piece with Copic marker. I decided I wanted to draw a really happy girl just kind of laying in the leaves. One of my friends gave me inspiration from a picture and I just liked the pose and so I wanted to draw somebody like resting on their hands and stuff and yeah this is kind of what happened. I, I thought I wasn't going to draw hair in this piece. And then I drew her hat and thought, ooh, it would be kind of fun to do hair. And so I was just being a little silly and drew like one little strand. And so you can laugh at that until I draw the rest of the hair. I think it's funny. I also did some different things with her facial features. You'll notice that the nose looks kind of weird. I did that on purpose. Um, you know how some cartoon characters have that weird like flipped up nose and it just kind of makes them look... Um, I don't know, kind of nerdy, but kind of like really cute and approachable. Um, I wanted her to have that like cute, down to earth, approachable look, but like she's still being her like inner nerd and admiring, you know, nature and thinking about a lot of deep things. I guess nerd isn't the word. Don't feel insulted. I'm a nerd too. Anyway, um, it was just really fun and. Now I'm finishing the hair. <laughs> Her hair is just kind of sprawled all around and it was a lot of fun. I decided to do a plaid scarf and oh boy, that was my first time drawing anything plaid. And I just kind of started with my lightest colors and worked from the dark on that scarf and it was very time consuming. During the stream, some people were like, okay, move on to shading the hair already. <laughs> and it was really funny. So yeah. Soon, I'm going to have some fun videos coming up on here. And I'm really excited for the holidays. I'm excited to show you what's up my sleeve. I have a whole list right now. And I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> so I shaded the hair and just kind of... Um, I was really loose with this hair. I think the fact that it didn't do outlines really helped me. But, I don't know, I feel like this hair is almost more realistic than some of my other hairs in a softer kind of way. I don't know, let me know what you think. Does it look like my normal hair? Because I don't think it does. Kind of changing things up. Have you guys done any like festive themed drawings lately? Um, I know I asked before like what you have drawn but I don't know some people aren't into drawing like holiday themed artwork so I'm just curious what you guys are speaking of holidays I'm having an art sale in my shop this is like one of the biggest sales I'm gonna be having I have this in my shop there's like holiday mystery bags lots of fun stuff so you should go check it out and use those coupon codes um, the background for this I used this Windsor Newton marker because I didn't really have any Copics that were the right shade that I was hoping for. This was still a little like not what I was hoping for, but it actually turned out really nice, so I was happy. I just kind of uh, layered and layered. That's what happens when you color big areas, it dries blotchy, but you just have to keep layering. So then I added some blades of grass and just kind of had some fun with it. And 
Yeah, this one's a lot more cartoony than I would normally do. The perspective on some things is purposely like not how it should be, um, but I enjoyed it. So yeah, you'll see like weird art supplies pop into this video. I was experimenting, and yeah, but. I only ended up using Prismacolor pencils and Copic markers for this. A little bit of white gel pen. <clears throat> Pretty much the usual. <laughs> the coat was probably one of the funnest things to shade. I really had a blast doing that. It just kind of looks so cozy and it makes me wish I had that coat and the scarf, you know, so I enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed everybody's suggestions on Twitch. I got stuck a few times and asked some people, and you guys are so helpful. And I just want to thank you for helping me with this piece. I can't wait to do another one, and my Twitch schedule is now on my page, so you can go check that out if you wish. That's pretty much all I want to say. I hope you like this. Let me know what you think down below. I will show a finished picture here in a second. Just wait. But that's pretty much all I have to say, so have a wonderful, wonderful day.